Well, hello everyone. Nikita and I are glowing red. Why? Oh, hello. Because we get these glowing sunrises every morning and it's just spectacular. Well, hey guys, today we're gonna be talking a little bit of what it's like to be living in Queenstown. Look at these trees. These are amazing. So, today we're really excited though. We are going on the TSS Earnslaw cruise with a buffet barbecue dinner. So, we'll get on there and then we'll have a little bit more time to chat. Steamboat, and if you see here, you can see all the steam things rolling and motoring. It's just a very unique, cool little vintage little boat. The muffins are hit, guys. For anyone wondering, that's Queenstown. You can see it right there. This is our house right up there. So it takes about nine minutes to drive from Queenstown to our house, so it's not too bad. So we're at the end of where the Earnslaw boat, boat takes us, and I believe it's called Walter Peak Farm or something like that, and we're at the barbecue experience. It's incredible. You guys have to do this. Oh, it is oh, actually incredible. Oh. This is all you can eat, and just oh, amazing. Yeah. Your thoughts? <laughs> So honestly, you know, whatever there is, but there is amazing pork belly, uh, there is incredible lamb, there is different cups of lamb, then there's steak that's just wonderful, wonderful, and then all the vegetables are actually incredible as well. And Nikita, obviously, she's not a big carrot person, she is all about these carrots and all about the edamame, and yeah, I can't say enough about how good this meal is, this is amazing. That's a mean goat. So on our farm in America, this is the type of cow that we were gonna get if we were gonna stay there. And, right. and maybe we go. 
Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey guys, initially we were gonna talk about what it's like to live in Queenstown, but this place is awesome. It the is Ernstall really, really cool. Cruise yeah. to the, where are we at again? Walter Peak Station. Guys, definitely, definitely come here. So, um, the cruise on the Ernstlaw is what, about 30 minutes? Yeah, like 30 to 35. Minutes. And it's just really pretty and it's like a very vintage boat. It's very crowded, by the way, so. Uh, get there early to if you want to get a good seat. Yep, yeah, for sure, because it definitely gets crowded. And then once you get here, if you do the barbecue experience, it's all you can eat food. You guys saw all that. Um, I had a lot of food. <laughs> And then you have about an hour to an hour and a half before you head back on the boat uh, just to tour and there's all sorts of animals and you can pet the lambs and the cows are there and the alpacas and all sorts of things and our daughter's just having a blast so. And by the way, I've worked on farms before. I've been a farmhand on like three different farms and my sister lives on a farm and we're around farm animals a lot and I don't know, It's if it's fun for me, it'll be fun for anyone, so yeah. And it's not like it's an all day you know, affair or anything like that. It's about what, three and a half hours or so that you're, from the time of leaving to the time that you're back. So it's not like it's that much of a huge commitment. It's a perfect little half day trip. And the thing is, is I think typically it's pretty expensive so, even with the full price, whatever that full price is, I still think it's worth it just because like, man, that food is just incredible. We've been to all you can eat buffets here in New Zealand and they do not compare to what that buffet this was here. It was really, really good. It just was a really enjoyable experience overall. We did get a local special of half price. So yeah, thank you to the local deals that they're giving us that we live in Queenstown. So, uh, but man, guys, I can't recommend this enough.